Good morning, and here we are. I am going to demonstrate some diffusing methods that I use. I don't use them always exactly like this, but this is just kind of my handbag of diffusing techniques. And because I do use different diffusers for different things, and um, this is out of pineapple hair, I'm going to hop in the shower and I will be back. I'll try to just do some uh, quick sped up parts with no talking so this doesn't get too long. But some people wanted to know about them, so I will let you know. Thanks. Hi there. So I have clipped my hair. Um, I did go run and put on makeup. Um, I am not a makeup maven. Love it, but good at it. So um, it has dried a little bit but I'm still going to diffuse so I am going to show you. I do have the Diva Dryer, Diva Curl Dryer by Taif. It says it's an ion dryer. I don't know. Ion thing has never impressed me all that much. I don't notice a difference. It comes with a concentrator and their famous Diva Hand Diffuser. But I also, and probably the majority of my diffusing is done with, a Revlon Universal Diffuser. It's a bowl diffuser. It's fairly deep. I really like it. Fits on here very well. And a word about the concentrator. Usually concentrators are used to straighten but um, this is another handy thing to really get in at your roots. Like if you use the pixie diffusing, place it, turn it on, aim it right at those roots. And that is possibly something that people could try for more volume at the root. And I would do it pixie diffusing where you put it in place it towards the root, turn it on for a couple seconds. So that's an option. I do do that sometimes. I especially do that like if it's a second day or something. I um, have found this big sexy hair root pump and I do believe it is CG. I didn't see any silicones or anything in it. It's a foam. I'll spritz, I'll spray this on my fingers and work it into my roots. Then take this concentrator, put it in and dry it. I get some good volume that way on if, if it's flattened out on a second day. Generally my pineapple gives me volume, but if for some reason I don't have enough, I'll work some of that in. Use that concentrator on the roots and it really does help. It's a nice little trick. So when I am typically diffusing, I will start with a bowl dryer because I want to try to keep this the curl in here. A wave. I don't really have curl. And I just pixie diffuse. I'm just gonna do it and not talk because I'll speed this part up. I'll do side to side a lot. Okay, so typically I would probably do this the longest um, on a work day. I would only do this. And always pixie diffuse, put it in, turn it on, blow dry or diffuse for like, I probably do 30 second sections, um, especially if it's more damp. really the most effective thing. Do it with concentrator, do it with Diva Hand, everything. So one way in, use this Diva Hand, is in here underneath is the last part to dry because it's the most covered up and there's not enough air circulating. So you can just 
just gently wiggle that baby in there. Air blows out the tips. So use it like you would use your hand if you could get air to flow through your hand. And um, I tip sideways to let it fall out. Gently put it in there so I don't disturb the few little spirally type things I get. And then turn it on for however long you feel. And I even have them touching my scalp. It does not burn. I use it on low, low speed, low heat. And I'm just gonna... spot of course right back here just wiggle it into there carefully it's lifted the hair away from the scalp the fingers of the hand are close to the scalp like yeah probably an inch and a half or so away but the fingers are actually touching it okay another thing you can do which I will go out of frame but if I do this maybe not if I stand up Flip over, and hold it, so you can get some volume that way. Even with the clips in, I can do that. Another way to use it, and I often do this, is just kind of like a portable hooded dryer. So that's another way to use this. I will sometimes if, um, oh, let's take like this one out. So I'm maybe wanting to set that clip a little more. I will actually work one finger in there. thumb in there. Now again, I can do this because I have a bigger wave crest. Uh, smaller, you're not going to probably be able to do that, but you are going to get more volume. You're going to have more volume. Most of those people are like, oh, my hair is too big. Personally, I feel like my hair can't be too big. And uh, the last way I can think of to use this is just facing it out toward the shaft of the hair with the fingers inside up further where it has, you know, less opportunity to dry because of the layer of layering of hair and the fact that it's just kind of buried in there. Tuck it in there, hand facing out toward the shaft. The pixie. Now on a given day, I'm not gonna use all of these things. These are a set of tools that you can use depending on what your hair is doing. You might say, ah, oh, that piece is not doing this or that. You can just kind of work with it a little bit. And the last thing I will say, right now my bangs are kind of crazy. I'm in the middle of maybe growing them out. I don't know. But I do like my bangs also. And if I were to do my bangs for the day, because they're the most straight. My wig doesn't start till after here, for the most part. Um, I will put that concentrator back on here. Use a Denman type brush. right on the bangs so if you want to do your bangs straighter and honestly my bangs are just a problem right now because I like I said probably trying to grow them out just to see what it's like now right now they're at the worst stage but that's how you can dry those a little bit so those are my diffusing tips I, well, that is my little video tutorial on diffusing. I know these get so long, but I was, there was a lot of tips, a lot of things that you could try to use. So, um, typically, I would probably be okay with going to work with my hair like this and letting it air dry the rest of the way. 
and um, you can see I'll take these clips out. Oops. It's the only thing, clip removal is a little. And I will like do like a claw and reach it up. And so, you know, I would go into work with my hair like that, that's fine. Um, some people want it 100% dry before they do, but I'm okay with that. Take another hour or so to air dry. And I uh, can't think of anything else. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Ask me. I will demonstrate what I think would fix that or help you, um, how you could possibly use a diffuser or clipping or whatever. I will gladly, you know, give any ideas I have. As you can see, I'm a weak wavy that would love to be more curly. Thanks for watching. And I will see you the next time.